90 seconds. 3, 2, 1. You are stronger than this. Keep it up. Say, with your right hand. Now breathe. Breathe. That's real. Yeah. Living his best life now. Matindi ang pinagdaanan ng pamangkin kong vlogger na si Will Dasovich. Munti ka na siyang mamatay noon dahil sa kanyang stage 3 colon cancer. Pero ngayon, national record holder na siya ng free diving, proving miracles happen every day. No doubt! Carlo, Carlo. Moment. That was a little harder than what I'm used to doing. I know. Usually Will. it's not that hard. Will. I was worried. So, bibisitain natin si Will. Right, David? Yes. Okay. The tita's going to Will. Hello? <laughs> Oh wow, it's a party! <laughs> it's, it's a party! <laughs> Three's a party, come on, stop. Hello, Will! Good to see you. Oh, of course, you. you're BFF. Yes. Yeah. David, say hi to him. Hello, Pinsan. Hello. Oh, nga pala, Kuya. I know, yeah, Biko lang, Kuya. Your viewers small if they know that we're family. Oh, oh no. Ako ang tita ni Will, kasi yung nanay niya first cousin ko, si Ati Chari. Si Kuya will for you. Exactly, right? <laughs> Let's go. If nice. Was here. So wait, Will, how um, long have you lived here? Um, seguro like eight, however long nandito ako sa Pilipinas. Seguro mga eight years. I say na graduate ako sa college and then I'm just traveling and then I ended up here and then yeah, nandito uh, pa rin ako. At pag nakita niyo yung condo nga, talagang lalaki nakatira dito. Yeah. <laughs> Kinan yun na man. Very, okay. very, very basic. Very guy. Oh. Wala kong gamit. So wait, what they call this na? This it's, is. A, it's a scooter. A scooter you have uh, two. Yun ang mode of transportation okay. ko. Hindi ka nag the drive. No, not the drive ako just pa minsan minsan ayo ko ng traffic kasi so. So ito. So ito yung ginago ako. Uh oh, oh. I, I like this kasi it's fast. It's uh -oh. mabilis and. It goes through traffic. Uh -oh. But I also may bicicleta din ako uh -oh. sa labas. Ito, so, ito bicicleta niya. Ito yung original ko na ginago ko, is yung bicicleta. Like, dati, when I, I started out as a commercial model before I was a YouTuber, I would travel to um, yung mga castings and, and I show up on my bike and then uh -oh. I just... I just Gosh. put water on my face. Oh, it's always slow. Do lang ang ginawa ko ngayon. Galing ako sa exercise. Hindi nyo alam na pawis lang to. And I just go like this and like this. And then I look okay. Okay, know. and of course, the we'll work out. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got the weights. Of course, I yeah. gotta, gotta yeah. stay fit. Siyempre, ang achievements ni Will, no? First, may Spotify. You had a, a, an exclusive partnership with Spotify, huh? right? And not only that, Ilan ang ganyan mo, itatlo channel? Okay, so meron akong dalawang ganyan. And then meron akong tatlong silver play buttons, pero never ko nabuksan. Nasaan na? I don't, I, ang dami kong mail, because I have so much mail. So it's in my store, I have like a room full of mail, and wala kong oras to open all my boxes. Ako na lang. Ako na lang ba? Can we just do an unboxing? I know, I know, right? My gosh. I know. And this is where you do your podcast. Um, This is where I do my editing, you know? This is the editing cave. Ang galing nakatayo ka. At ikaw talaga nag edit Yeah, yeah. Ang hirap ng ng mga vlogs ko. It's a very like specific uh, storytelling. Pero ang galing so. ng editing. Thank you. Right? So, ang dami mo ng awards na kuha for vlogging. Yeah. Ano ba yung super precious? Ito yung, Oy, wow. Yeah, ito yung pinakamahirap, I think, award I've ever Vlogger had. of the year! Oo. Oh, oh. yeah. Kasi that was in New York against lahat ng mga international vloggers. This yeah. was in 2018. Oo. Oh, oh, so, kumbaga, how hard is it to get this vlogger of the year? Award. Well, muntik na kung mamatay trying to get that. <laughs> so that's how hard it was for me. Because I really had to use my, my introspective thoughts and yung mga storytelling ko. Nung time na yan, that was 2017. This is amazing. Yeah. Ang yeah. galing. Ito pa, and this is his biggest achievement. 
in it. Yeah, that's my most no. recent achievement. Yeah, okay. so at the yon. Look at this guy's national record with performance of 5 minutes and 44 seconds. So, unang tanong ko ito, sinabi ni Kate Winslet yeah. na she held her breath for Avatar mm -hmm. more than 7 minutes longer daw than Tom Cruise. Anong kaibangan nun at ito? So this is a certified from the sport Ida for freediving by the organization. And the thing is, this is what I don't know why kung bakit hindi sila hindi nila sinasabi to sa news. But yung ginawa ni Tom Cruise and Kate Winslet was with meron silang pure oxygen na yeah. you can and then they go in. So that is in this sport bawal yun bawal yan because oh, oh. that is a PED or performance enhancing drug. Pure O2 makes it easier to breathe yes, underwater. Yes, yes. So, isang pangkariniwang tao, tulad mo, Ma, oh, oh. you're not pangkariniwang. No, no, you're, you're very kunyari, special. No, no, no. Pero, yan. Kunyari, ako yung nag-pure oxygen. Siguro, you can hold your breath for five minutes. Ah, I think, sa, sa pagkaalam ko, oh, oh. you can hold your breath for five minutes. Isa ka sa mga unang nag-YouTube. Kailan ka ba nag-YouTube? Seven, eight years ago? Seven, eight years ago. I mean, zero. Sa simula. Nagva-vlogging ako in the first year. Wala akong kinita. I invested everything sa YouTube. Because dati walang monetization. Wala? Walang, there weren't YouTubers. Walang endorsements. Walang influencer world. Talagang passion ko yan. I was doing that for free. And it, and it took siguro a year before... I monetize before I make money, all that stuff. And, and you know, alam mo, parehas din sa free diving. In these last four months, I said no sa lahat ng mga projects, like ang daming pera that I'm losing because I just focused on training for this one moment. Sa vlogging mo, natatandaan mo pa when you made your first one million pesos. One million pa. In the first. Mo, dollars kasi. Eh. Nice. Dollars. I'm, I'm American, so I think it's in dollars. Um, but yeah, I think naalala ko my first ten thousand dollars. Oh, yon. Yon. Parang Kailan yon. Siguro after my first endorsement. Akala ko mayama na ako, pwede ako mamatay, happy na ako. I'm a YouTuber. My dream is done. Pero it, it's funny because I realize mo sa lahat ng mga success, sa lahat ng mga achieve, achievement, it doesn't end there. Will, sa dami ng sports na pwede mong gawin, bakit mo naman naisip to free dive and hold your breath for that long? I got introduced to it just recently kasi and I fell in love with the sport kaagad na being in the ocean and diving deep. I think sa, sa first day na natry ko, I was able to help hold my breath for three minutes, kaagad. So I was like, wow, um, being in the ocean, 25 meters deep, complete silence, and it's just you going down, kasami yung mga is that. Pero hindi nakakatakot? Nakakatakot sa simula, pero it's all about remaining calm and, and parang finding that inner peace with you. Because the only way to be able to dive deep and hold your breath, na ganon katagal, is to find that peace. Now you're the national record holder. Congratulations. Gano kahirap yon? So, yung unang like one, two to three minutes is pure meditation, pure bliss. Parang nasa ibang bansa ko, nasa ibang lugar. I just go into deep meditation. Parang I'm floating into space. And, and I think that's, that's the part you love. And then, pagkatapos ng three minutes, that's when it gets hard. Kasi yung mga muscles mo, they start to move. Yeah. Oh my. And that's when it's like, uh-oh. And nagpapanik ka na. So that's, yeah, that's when you have to panic, not panic. Right? You just, kay, kailangan mo na intindihan na it's just your muscles. Kasi your stomach starts to try and breathe. And then, simula sa stomach, it moves up to your chest. So your, everything starts moving. And the more your body moves, the more you're wasting oxygen. Yeah. Kailangan talaga just to be calm so that hindi nagsasayang ng oxygen. Hindi lang ito na basta nagpa-practice ka sa bahay mo. There's training involved. I, I train siguro four to five hours per day. There's breathing exercises. 
na you're holding your breath. Parang hold your breath for two minutes, rest for one minute, hold your breath for another two minutes, rest for one minute, mga ganun. You can do that dry, like I do it everywhere. Di ba? Palagi kong nag to travel. So, ginagawa ko to sa aeroplano, ginagawa ko to sa hotel room, in, in between my events. Meron yung mga stretching, kasi you need to stretch your lungs. So, every morning I do an hour of intercostal stretching, ika nga, na I hold my breath for like one minute, and then I stretch. And then I have a gym ball, I have, you know, yeah. and I lie on the gym ball and I hold these positions and then I exhale or I'll do empty lung stretches. Now, I purge myself of all my, of all the oxygen. Tapos, I, I stretch my diaphragm na ginago ko to. My gosh, ang galing oh. Sana magawa ko to. Oo, talaga wala na, dito wala nang air. Can normal people do this? Regular people? Now, kailangan mo matuto kung paano um, to like manipulate your your diaphragm. So, may mga ganon, and then I do yoga for siguro one to one and a half hours. But a blood and oxygen can go. Dapat free of pain ka. Because if you're gonna be calm and relaxed, you 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 just have to be in a good mindset of no pain throughout your body. Kailangan maging flexible. So after that, I also do cardio. Because I need to be out of pain, right? Of course, if you're going to hold your lungs. So I run, I bike, I swim. The question is, Will, why do you do this? I just want to be in my body. Like, this is a huge part of, of what my life is all about. It's, it's taking on these big endeavors and then proving myself that I can do it. Because every time I do this, I gain confidence from it. And, and living with confidence equates to living with happiness. But may confidence ka, you can do anything in the world. And our, our biggest kalaban a lot of the time is ourselves and self-doubt. And as long as we have the belief in ourselves that we can do something, then we can do anything. And, and that's the thing that's, I think that's holding back most people in, in, in life. The other day I was diagnosed with cancer. And just a few years ago, you nearly, you were facing death in the face. So this is actually a huge part kung bakit ginagawa ko to yung mga extreme activities na ginagawa ko. You know, when I, when we go back to that time, so bring fresh yan sa memory ko na you know, di mo alam kung anong mangyayari and, and how much longer or how much time you have left on this earth. So, you know, gusto ko lang ipakita na pwede mo i-maximize yung life. Uh, naalala ko just being in the hospital bed and not being able to move kasi I was recovering from surgery and you also don't know if you're ever going to fully recover. So say you were stage three cancer. Mm -hmm. Stage three colon cancer. Colon cancer. Yeah. So I, I remember being super down and sad. Na we take things for granted. Walking. Yes. I remember walking and running. Like yung sobrang pangarap ko was to just get out of the hospital and run. I want to be able to run someday. But I was filled with you know chemo. Ang hirap ng chemotherapy. Like no matter what you try, I still walked every day. But it got to a point when you're really deep in chemo, you can't you can't run because your body just can't take it physically. Lagi ko nang ngarap na balang ado. I can just I can move. I can be in the sun. I'm I'm not going to be in this hospital and, and confined. And pinangako ko sa sarili ko. I'm I'm not going to let anything hold me back in life. I'm going to maximize every single moment. I'd say. That was my closest instantaneous encounter to the sensation of a physical death. But certainly the read would be there would be no need for any sort of any further treatment. It would just, you know, at this point you'd be just, you would be um, under surveillance. Hindi ako genetically gifted. I, I, I just live with, again, yung sanabi ko, a, a tenacious mentality. I never give up. I never stop trying. And lahat ng mga success ko, it's because I have that attitude. So kung kaya ko, 
kaya mo din. Have you been declared cancer free? Yes, I was declared cancer free just a few months ago. Wow. Yeah, and you know, I didn't, I think it's um, a beautiful thing to do. Nah, I just was declared cancer free, and now puede ko ipakita sa mundo na I can I can break a record and my body's I feel 100%. That's amazing. You know? And they always told me people always said you'll never be 100% after chemotherapy after going through cancer. Oh. And I can confidently say I feel 100%. Or yeah. or even more. Yeah. Even more. I think even more. Even more cuz say with every battle you conquer, you gain more confidence within yourself. What did you do to get here other than that attitude? It's effort. It's being proactive and making the decision na gagawin ko lahat para sa sarili ko for for to give me the best chance I can. So that's how I lived. Yan yung mindset ko when I was battling cancer. Sobrang grateful ako kung saan galing ako. As in, I, I am in love with life. And I'm in love with the human body and what it's capable of, and I never ever want to take it for granted. Kaya gusto ko maximize lahat ng activities in life, including traveling and all all these crazy things I'm doing. And I, I never ever want to bow down to fear or let fear stop me from doing anything. Oh my God! Ah! Yung nanay ko, uh, I, I'm definitely a mama's boy, and kahit she stressed out sa mga ginagawa ko na delikado, one of the most important things that my parents have done is they've always supported me. They, they always told me na I believe in you, na you can do anything. And that goes... Lalo na dad mo eh. Yeah, Your that goes like so that. far in life. Kahit nag-aaway ka, uh, kami, kahit... They, they don't like what I'm doing, you know, <laughs> pero they support me. If, if, if I want to do it, they support me. Because never nila, they're not going to hold me back from doing what I want to do. And I think that's one of the most in, in, important ways to live. And my dad always taught me, never give up. Sa kahit anong gawin mo. Nagbago ba relasyon mo sa mga magulang mo nung muntikan kang mamatay? I wouldn't say it changed. But it strengthened it. Because alam ko, alam ko, they'll do anything for me. They'll be there for me, and they'll do anything I need them to do. Um, pero yun yung yung experience na yun, it just proved it, di ba? Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember going going to the point na hindi ako maliligo, because I had surgery and I'm just like this, and you know, auto auto, my mom is is bathing me. So bring na kakatawa yung nana ko and. Yeah, I, I super love her forever. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. She's okay. my number, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's like, number one person in my life, my number one supporter forever. Yeah. So, sayang si Ate Chari, wala dito ngayon, minsan nasa Pilipinas siya, ngayon nasa San Francisco. So, tawagan natin. Kamustahin natin. Shell, come, David. So, do you talk to your mom every day? Um... I'd say she talks to me every day. <laughs> Just like all mothers do, so... Oh my gosh. Yana! Hello! <laughs> Hi! Okay, let me... I'm trying... Ate Charles! Hello! We miss you! Hi! Wait, Ate Charles, anong pakiramdam mo? Sa award ni Will itong he broke. He's the national record holder ng a free diving. I was so worried because I didn't know why he was doing that stupid thing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, oh my God, what's he doing? And you know, kaya lang naman, kaya lang naman ako sumaya dahil nung nakita ko ka, nananado siya. Tapos may mga explanation yung kanyang mga discipline and Yung pala is a kind of sport. Hindi ko alam yun eh. I'm not so aware of that. I thought, I told him, hey, you're gonna fry your brain. He goes, no, I'm not gonna fry my brain. Because I'm underwater. 
Pero ano feeling mo? Are, he must be so proud. I did congratulate him because now I understand what he was doing. Oh, oh. And isa sa mga... Tama lang mo yan kasi nakakatakot. Ayaw mo na. So, Ate Chari, ayaw mo na. Gusto mo huminto na siya. Sana nga. Pero, you know, I just have to support what he wants to do, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Talaga yun. Uh -huh. You're blessed to have a good son. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a nice son. Mm-mm. Oo. Tanapang mo nga ng girlfriend niya na mabait, ha? <laughs> <laughs> Sige, yan na yung trabaho. Hanapan ng girlfriend daw. No, that's not, that's not making it in. That's not making it in. No. No, no, no. Oh, uh, ayan. All right. All right, bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Ayan. Bye, bye. So, ito kailangan ko naman tanungin. So, your ex-girlfriend, uh, Alodia, who I know, is married now. <laughs> It's been a long time since <laughs> someone asked me. <laughs> You're dating now. I'm active. Uh, I'm active. I'll, I'll yeah. keep it at that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to get married soon. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. You think you'll have children? Yeah, I, uh, I, I'll have kids eventually. Pero ngayon sa kasa loko yung moment na to, there's masadong marami kong ginagawa. Now, if I have a kid, I want to be 100%. I want to be like the number one dad, diba? And alam ko sa, ske sa current schedule ko, sa lahat ng mga commitments, I, I mean, after this interview, I'm gone. I'm not going to be back in the Philippines for another month. I'm going to like three different countries. But I don't want to be an absent father right now. <laughs>
may paghahanda mo. Inahanda mo yung utak mo, pati yung katawan mo. Will, two minutes, you're doing good. Relax, your leg, relax your toes. Very good, you are in control, Will. Stretch your body, foot on the ground. Move closer to the walls and breathe. <coughs> breathe. Mask off. Okay, sign. I'm okay. Three. Wow, ilan yon? Three minutes and four seconds. Wow, so yun yung practice. Yes, yeah, that's, that's like the warm, warm up. Warm up, warm up yon. Yeah. The, the reason that gusto ko talaga mag free diving is kasi nahirapan ako mag meditate on land normally, pero pag nasa tubig ako, uh, mas madaling mag meditate. Di ko alam kung bakit. Yeah, but. Yeah, because um, there's a technique called. Sa, sa human being, we have this mammalian dive reflex. Mammalian dive reflex, we, we all have this. And um, nagtitrigger siya once we are submerged in water, when we hold our breath and we register pressure. And because of that, yung heart rate natin bumababa. It's like the power saving of the, of our, of the human body. Ano ba ang health benefits ng free diving? As per my own experiences, of course, you know, yung katahimikan and yung mental aspect ng free diving because in free diving kailangan ka magkaroon ng self control isa sa mga pinaka health benefits of free diving is when you learn how to control your mind and your panic maganda to para sa anxiety so if you're someone who has anxiety uh -huh. free diving can train you how to control that how to be calm and this translates also into real life so um, kung may argument ka with, you uh, know, may ka. yeah, may kaaway ka, yung asawa mo uh, is yelling at you. Ulo. Yeah, mga ganun. You just use your free diving practices and everything you've learned to like remain calm and, and not panic and, and act practically rather than emotionally. That is, I think, one of the pinaka exactly. reasons. So, lahat ng mga free divers I meet, that's why they love free diving. It makes you like zen. Yeah. So, lahat ng mga tao, ikaw, ikaw, na pinapanood, if you just come here to this pool, we can train you in one day how to hold your breath. So go to two to three minutes. Talaga? Gusto yeah. ko ah! Yes! No. Gusto ko! Yeah. Sa mga nanunood ngayon na they're feeling hopeless, mm -hmm. what are your words of encouragement for them? And meron ka bang spiritual verse that has guided you uh, ang dahilan kung bakit nakaabot ako sa punto na to and lahat ng mga achievements is I never give up. And you just have to put in the effort and find kung saan galing yung support mo. If you have that support sa sarili mo and you're a strong person, do that. Yung mga family members mo or friends, if there's someone out there who supports you, um, then, then hang out with those people. Stick with those people because a lot of people don't have that luxury, and I am so privileged that I have such a good community, my YouTube community, my following. Um, and if there's no one else, then you gotta go spiritual, and you know, that's what I that God's always with you at at any point in your life. Mm -hmm.